Gamers Podcast. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. Bob, go first. I should have explained this at the beginning. Yeah, you definitely should have. <laughs> um, uh, my name is Blackbeard Bob. Hello. <laughs> and we have today Trollbeard. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Trollbeard, aka Charles, whatever you feel like. And uh, today we're going to do uh, the same video game podcast with nicer looking text in the background than last week. <laughs> <laughs> I hated the text from the last week's thing, so they changed it. It's all about iteration. It is, mm-hmm. absolutely. Well, this is a very iterative podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I just stole everybody's stuff. This is kind of co-optional, kind of, kind of funny, kind of, kind of a lot of things. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Kind of, kind of. That's a good, that's a good one. So, uh, <laughs> we got, I got a lot of things to talk about today. Uh, I, know I think we, you probably have the most to talk about. I know we got some Fortnite stuff to talk about that Bob won't be a part of the conversation for. Uh, <laughs> did E, no, E3 happened before the last episode. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anything crazy news wise has happened. I don't think so. And I'm even double checking. Yeah, nothing's really happened. I heard today GameStop was getting sold. Really? They they posted they were, you know, basically up for sale. I don't know if someone has already gone in to try to buy them. So it's already starting to sound like, you know, uh, another Toys R Us, basically. Wow, I would have never thought that. Really? I think Amazon's going to murder them. Well, yeah, GameStop? I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's... I'm already ordering all my video games from there. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I, I guess I am, too. Yeah, GameStop had already tried to... You know, they bought, was it Think Geek? Yeah. So, like, half of all the GameStop stores are basically just, you know, merchandise... It's very little, you know, game stuff left and anymore. Very in expensive stores. merchandise too. Think Geek is expensive as hell. Yeah. We actually have a Think Geek store in Orlando or Tampa. I can't remember where we went. Uh and it was just everything was very expensive. Yeah, I think GameStop also owns like a like a a Mac Apple like repair company that has like brick and mortar stores. I don't know if that oh. business is still around. It was well, weird. You know what? Let's let's look it up. Let's see if the wiki says anything. Because we got but yeah, they, to talk about. <laughs> yeah, they started a uh, Game Trust is like their game publishing company, and uh, not too many of those games have either come out or been successful. Uh oh shit! You nailed it. So it's GameStop, EB Games, ThinkGeek, and Micromania Brands. In addition, they own Game Informer. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, because you usually get Game Informer magazines with your membership. I remember that being a thing. Yeah, and uh, Simply Mac, an Apple products reseller, and Spring Mobile, an AT&T wireless reseller. Yeah, I, I knew there was some other weird stuff in there that GameStop owned. They tried to diversify starting a few years back because the, you know, the brick-and-mortar physical game sales started going down, especially since you know, Best Buy and Amazon started their pre-order discount programs, but now Best Buy killed theirs off. Yeah. Even Best Buy was like, we can't compete. (laughs) We're pulling out. (laughs) (laughs) This is too much. Well, sometimes you just got a new one to pull out. It's true. Well, also with Amazon, they've started being weird with some of the Sony stuff that's, you know, first party pre-order. Yeah, I wonder what's up with that. Really it's bizarre. weird because occasionally, like the, like the the money cards and like the PlayStation Plus cards, just go out of stock for like weeks at a time, even though they're digital certificates. Yeah, that is bizarre. And some of those Sony games are not eligible for that uh, pre-order at a time. thing. Some of them you just can't even pre-order, let alone like with the discount. Right. Yeah, I don't know why all that is, but it's very bizarre. Uh, it's got to be, it's it's kind of like, oh, well, fuck it. Let's just get into the Fortnite discussion. It's, it's kind of like Sony not allowing uh, Fortnite and Minecraft to not be cross-platform play with everything else. 
Yeah, the um, the thing is, like, talking about, you know, we mentioned kind of funny earlier, they did their one-year anniversary for that Games Daily podcast. They're talking about the story on their first episode was the Minecraft, and then shortly thereafter, the Rocket League. No Rocket cross-platform. Well, yeah. And, uh, like, the biggest complaint right now for the Fortnite stuff is the cross-progression shit. You know, there are guys that are, like, PC players, and before, like, the cross-play between PC and PS4 was, like, an easy thing you could do, it was kind of like an exploit. You had to go install the Epic Games client and then add somebody as your friend with your Epic account through the actual PC client, and then you could join in, or they could join in on your games. So I have a feeling there's probably a fair amount of people that were PC players. Their buddy said, hey, you want to play some Fortnite with me? They signed into their Epic account, and now they're just trapped. (laughs) So if they wanted to play on their Switch, they can't. They'd have to lose everything. That's the big problem. Like it's an inconvenience. I think like the big thing is like it really sucks because it's so it's such an open thing. It's such a movement right now that everyone's playing Fortnite and everyone's playing on you know mobile like anywhere you can just play it except the Sony guys. <laughs> <laughs> like that's gotta yeah. suck to be a Sony guy. It's like yeah, it's like it's like your parents won't let you. Why? Cause cause money <laughs> because. Is it because well, of money? That, like, <sighs> well, I mean, they had the article about one of the guys who used to be a Sony head talking about, like, he's like, you want to know why this isn't happening? Money. <laughs> there's a, there's a, he's, he was saying, you know, there have been decisions made from up top. It's like, we don't want the potential for the customers to bring stuff they spent money on another platform on our platform. It's just such a, <sighs> what? Yeah, it's it's silly because especially when you think about the um, the Minecraft stuff, you yeah. know, with the Bedrock update or whatever it's called that en- enabled all of the crossplay on everywhere, but you know the Sony stuff, which you can still you know PC and phones. I think with the Sony, you just can't do Xbox and Switch. Okay, it just doesn't make any sense. Like you would think. Even from a money standpoint, are they? Is it bad business to advertise someone else's platform? Well, I mean, yeah, you don't in, want it to is adver- in a way. Yeah, but you know, people haven't heard about this Xbox thing, so just don't talk about it. Right. Like even people, regardless of the platform, people are still going to have a preference. And yeah. as far as Sony goes, and I can't I hate the words that are about to come out of my mouth. Oh boy. But. You're still going to have those fucking PlayStation exclusives. Mm -hmm. So people are still going to buy your console. So why the hell is there so much bickering going on about a free game? Why can't we all have it together? Well, going back to like the uh, the Minecraft thing, every copy digitally sold by Minecraft is still making Xbox money. Yeah. And you can still get like the Master Chief... And a lot of the Microsoft skins on the PS4 version of Minecraft. Oh wow! You just can't. Know that. You just can't play with Xbox people. <laughs> so none of it makes it, sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. It's fucking retarded. I I don't understand it. So and to get away from that, I got to bring up something I've been noticing in Fortnite that's been driving me nuts. This is a PSA. This is a pro tip. Stop. <laughs> bunny hopping because every time i'm gonna wait for you to hop i'm gonna put my cursor where you're gonna land and you're gonna die <laughs> see but okay also that's, don't stop bunny hopping because i get lots of kills <laughs> that's, that's that's those are bad bunny hoppers is there a good way to bunny hop yeah there is. It's, it's called being unpredictable i mean or it's called knowing when to jump and or knowing yeah to when jump. to jump yeah I have a shotgun. There's no good time to jump. Yes, there is. <laughs> I'm gonna nail you. Just you. Know, you just need to know when. Uh, so, and well, actually, one thing I meant to ask Troll. I guess it doesn't matter if I ask him on or off air. You were talking about the hit scan thing with like shotguns. The like the first shot is better than the rest, or something like that. Yeah. So that was the thing I wanted to talk about 
like I had mentioned in like the topics as far as like oh like okay, I had mentioned th- this all plays into that so like the accessibility of Fortnite not like you know like people with disabilities accessibility but just the fact that it's on everything they can put that thing on yeah epic yeah. games are geniuses like for how well that game runs on phones for how well that game runs on the switch the problem is you know that accessibility is always going to negatively affect how that game plays how that meta works because right now all of the meta is building at people and using shotguns yeah that's (laughs) fair because i I at least do shotguns mostly but also the like the bolt action rifles are really damn good yeah, so that's the thing is like unless you're a really good shot with a sniper or the hunting yeah. rifle or you're really good at shotgunning, which the more recent shotgun update kind of discourages people from using a single pump shotgun. Really? Why of, is that? Yeah, because they I dropped they dropped the overall damage. So it used to be oh, okay. any of the pumps, you know, they used to be white and green and now they're green and blue. They changed the rarities to maybe curtail what they call double pumping. It's it used to be insane. It's still kind of bad. But it used to be any of those pumps, if you got a headshot within range, you did over 200 damage instant death. Okay. It used to be a yeah. one shot kill at any th- time. Much like how the sniper rifle, any of the rarities of the, the actual scope sniper rifles, not the semi auto snipers. They're one-shot headshots from any distance. Right. But, you know, those require a lot more skill when, you know, all of that game is building and you just got two shotguns and you just, you know, ramp, 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 jump, ramp, 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 jump. You're just running, <laughs> you know, like the stupid, uh, <laughs> like, like, like the stupid Leonardo DiCaprio meme where he's just, like, skipping through. Oh. You used to see these. <laughs> I was, I had, dude, I had the funnest time trolling some kid the other day. I was, oh, I was playing duos with Kimberly, and we were on a, at a, like a rock. We were at a good spot, and these guys were building up. <coughs> they were building up, and they were fighting someone else. And we were both like, should we go in? Should we go in? I was using my, my sniper rifle and breaking their, their little ramps. Every time they started to go up, break the ramp, they'd fall. Break the ramp, they'd fall. <laughs> and they were just like, they had no idea we were there. I was like, no, 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 hold on, hold on. This is just fun. <laughs> I had a blast. I think we got killed shortly after. This is a game you want to play for people to do that kind of shit to me. Well, we're not going to build. I mean, I'm not. I never do. I yeah. build to get to chess, and I build to get over walls, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing with the Switch currently, especially people in handheld and people on phones. They're always going to be at a massive disadvantage mechanically. Oh, sure. Compared to any of the other platforms. Yeah, building's not great on Switch. I, like, I still, it's still, I have to be like, no, okay, what am I Okay, this button. Uh, <laughs> which is like every Switch game for me because all the buttons are kind of weird. Yeah, and that was the thing with like the mobile, like I think it was literally the same week that mobile launched. They had the port of fort What? Because the port of fort so it's a little grenade you toss. What the fuck you call me? And it... <laughs> It builds like a little tower with some little scopes out. It's got tires in the bottom so you can bounce up. So they built a device literally to help people that can't build on their phone. I mean, yet to see. Oh, is it only on phone? No, it's on all the platforms, and it's kind of a troll item. I have yet to see that. I also haven't seen the bush that you can like move around in. Well, the bush is technically like a gold rarity, okay. so it's kind of supposed oh, to be hard. That's why you haven't seen I it. I did get a boogie bomb the other day, and that was funny as hell. Yeah, <laughs> a what? It's a it's a grenade that makes your opponent dance. <laughs> oh Jesus! It's yeah, hilarious. they dance. They dance for they... five seconds until you shoot them. Oh, I saw they added like a stink stink bomb or something. Oh yeah, I, guess. I haven't seen that either. Yeah, those are great. They actually are one of the healthiest things for the meta I've come across lately because, like I said, with the thing with shotguns, especially before, like, the changes to the shotgun damages, like, you'd see these guys that are really good, you know, just, like, skating in on people and just 
one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot, and then there's a whole squad dead. I do kind of like what, Bob. I want to point out that just just how amazing the, the world of video games are here because never in my life did I think I would hear somebody call a stink grenade healthy. <laughs> <laughs> how amazing is that? It's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's also that. great when you kill somebody with them because it'll say your name dealt it and the person that died smelt it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sense of humor in the game. But uh, one thing I really kind of appreciate about the game is the, what's, what is yellow? Is that legendary? Yeah, the, the gold is the legendary. Why yeah. is it not epic? <laughs> because purple is epic. Oh, they'd, okay. probably, they'd probably get sued by themselves. Yeah, right? <laughs> that could happen. Themselves um, would sue them. What was I gonna say? Oh, the the like yellow, the gold weapons, whatever. They are extremely hard to find, and when you get them, you are kind of a badass, <laughs> which is pretty fun. Like I appreciate that's, that a lot. That is wouldn't that be the point of an epic weapon? Legendary or legendary? <laughs> well, sorry, absolutely. But there's some games, and I won't mention sequels you, to certain games. You can you can mention it. <laughs> Destiny 2. Where exotics <laughs> are just... Okay, like, you can't and mention it. And they're fixing it. And they shouldn't have to fucking fix this. Are but, they, though? Are they fixing it? Yeah, they fixed some. Made some uh, of the exotics more interesting. And they gave us an exotic that was boring as hell. And the new expansion. And then it... I'm not. We're not talking about Destiny. That's going to be its own podcast. We're going to say that till Kingdom Come. That's going to be its own I'm podcast. Al- I'm already. I'm already getting worked up. Like <laughs> until Breathe. Jacob just Breathe. falls into the bosom of Division Two and forgets all about the other D Two. Fall hey, into, dude. I'm gonna jump into that bosom. <laughs> I'm so excited for Division Two. <laughs> I've been playing the hell out of Division One. I love that game. Why are we talking about this list? Okay, the the gold weapons. Gold weapons in Fortnite. I have only got a handful. I've got whatever, and I've okay. I've only got a handful, and I've always kicked ass with them every time. Um, I got oh, I got a mini gun. That wasn't gold though. I don't think, or is it? They they start at purple and gold. I got a purple one. Kimberly got a light machine gun that was. Did it shoot lightning or did it just shoot as fast as lightning? <laughs> the light machine guns are blue and purple. They are insane. They have a hundred bullets in the clip. I think it was like a like lightning crazy. light machine gun. It says something that may have lightning. been some some weird rendering there because there's no elemental weapons in the okay in the battle royale. There yeah. might be in the save the world stuff. I don't know if you guys paid money to play no. save the world. <laughs> Uh, but actually, speaking of other modes, did you see that they're adding a playground mode? Yeah, that's the thing. They uh, teased it like two weeks ago, and everybody's losing their mind. And then everybody's like, hey, Epic, stop you know, lowering down the amount of materials you can mine to discourage you know, building being the only option. Whereas you know, building is the only thing that sets this game apart, because the gun mechanics are terrible. <laughs> Which is what terrible. you're terrible. They're okay. Which is what you're asking originally about with uh, yeah. the first shot accuracy and how Bloom works. Is, you know, like, it's like they're functional, but I hate, you know, like, regardless of how good my aim is, unless I wait and just, like, tap, 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 I wait for that reticle to reset every time, there's no guarantee I'm going to shoot somebody. Okay. Because it's going to have, like, a preset ring. Like, when, you, when you're aiming down the site before it closes like the outer tips of the, say, the cross on, like, your assault rifle. Imagine that being a circle, you know, around all all four corners. You've got a random chance to fire a shot anywhere within that circle. <laughs> that Unless sounds you, aggravating. Okay. Yeah, because, it like, it, you feel bad sometimes, and you get so fucking pissed sometimes, because, like, you'll be dead center, middle of the chest, guy's not moving, You'll pull the trigger, first shot hits, and then it's just cookie cutters, you know, like an old cartoon. And yeah. then another guy turns, and all of a sudden you get shot four times in the head because the R and Jesus was on his side that day. <laughs> I definitely just, had that with, and I shouldn't have expected this to work, but the, the minigun. 
I had a guy, you know, shoot me, and I just laid into him with a minigun, and he sniped me. <laughs> he took me out with some assault <laughs> rifle. Yeah, it's it's just crazy, like, the amount of times, especially since they added, like, the FAMAS, the purple and gold rarity of the burst rifle. Oh, I haven't seen that. Uh, Yeah, like, so, like, the blue burst used to be insane super early on in the game, because it would do, like, 33 damage per shot. So even if you didn't hit a headshot, if you hit all three bullets, that's 99 damage. That's half of somebody's health if they're at full shields. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you add in headshots, that's uh, 378s. Instant death. Jeez. So, yeah, yeah these, these burst rifles, when they first came out, and I think they had, like, some minor patching to, like, I guess, like, the, the random chance and the circle. Cool. These things were just death rays if you had that first shot accuracy. I bet. You would just you would just peek out because there's a way to kind of get out of crouch without offsetting your first shot accuracy. It's kind of a bug that people exploit. I think they may have fixed it. It's been a while since I tried it. So you'd be crouched behind your little wall, and you see the guy, and you'd have your first shot accuracy. So you, so you lined it up. You hit jump, and your guy stands up. Perfect burst. Brr- dead you crouch back down all within like a second <laughs> and then sometimes you know you're just sitting there you're like dur, dur, dur. you hit nothing and then all of a sudden the guy just turns with like a gray ar and just dot 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 you're dead like <laughs> it's just random chance that it drives you crazy yeah you know the, the more we talk about this game the less i want to play it <laughs> you don't get me wrong like if I were to get in with a game and run you through and explain a lot of the stuff and you get into like the real tension of late game stuff, you'll understand why it became popular. I understand why game. it became popular, but and I'm starting I'm starting to like it more than PUBG. Oh jeez. <laughs> just cuz like and uh, I mean PUBG's added maps. I think they just recently added a new map. Uh, was it yeah Sandhawk the small like yeah. jungle map but like Fortnite they change stuff all the time like they they added like a soccer field or something they well the meteor thing happened uh the there was that random countdown on the TVs that did that lead to anything that's still going on the the countdown is currently only on the switch versions yeah all the other versions just, just have a logo on I, uh, like the I just get a logo too on my switch. Huh, so I don't know then. I guess it hasn't happened, but the the weekly updates are where when you know new weird shit happens. Cuz this this update that just happened is what added that new soccer field up in the north uh, east corner. Okay. Or okay. west northwest so, corner. Actually, I had a question about something about the battle pass. If I were to buy the battle pass with only 5 days left in the season, I'm just shit out of luck, right? Pretty much, okay. unless you then spend a bunch of money to buy tiers. Oh no, I'm not doing that. Which would be like another like thirty bucks, probably. When is this season over? Uh, in another two weeks. I want to say this was okay. week eight. I'm just gonna wait till next season to get a battle pass. Okay, yeah. So for for someone who doesn't know, like <clears throat> me, what is a battle pass? Number one. And <laughs> number two. So what I know what, about it... Oh, go ahead. What, what is the big deal with PUBG and the event pass? <laughs> yeah, I totally, can explain all of those for you. Totally original. Why, I love the event pass. It's, to, it's so unique. I'm so glad they're doing that. Well, I don't also, understand what the battle pass is, so I don't understand the similarities between the two. Also, uh, talking about passes like this, Rocket League is now adding a pass. Oh, Jesus. I think it's a good thing. I like it. I actually do like the Battle Pass in, in Fortnite. Yeah. Like, it's that's the thing. You know, people got mad immediately at the PUBG thing because, oh, you're going to charge us $10 every, like, month to get skins or whatever. So, how long does their event pass last? Is it a month? I, I think it's like. A month, yeah. Hold on. How, there was a an infographic that compared okay. it to the other passes. Let me How try to hunt Fortnite's? that down. Fortnite's is ten weeks. Ten okay. weeks. 
Yeah, you've got 10 weeks to get through 100 Battle Pass tiers. There's daily oh, challenges that, that give like you lot. some battle stars to go through. There's the weekly challenges that, you know, help yeah. level you up faster. But yeah, so the Battle Pass is 10 bucks. The big difference here that a lot of people were complaining about with the PUBG one versus like Fortnite and even the one for Dota whenever they do theirs to, you know, fundraise for the international is that if you complete the battle pass on Fortnite, you will earn enough V-Bucks back to buy the next battle pass. Oh, you can earn it. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't yeah, know you uh, could uh, finish it. Yeah, a couple of the tier rewards, because it only goes with tier 100 on the battle pass. Because I okay. maxed it out the other day. So I got the next two weeks to just fuck around. I don't oh, have to do it. Thank you. Well, not playing that many games, you know, a few times a week. And you know, I I win a fair amount of games. Uh, you know, I just finished it like a few days ago, like when the new week's challenges started. Right. I still have to level up like seven more levels on the actual like character level to unlock the final piece for the final skin. I have to hit level eighty. Yeah. And then, but I can do that in two weeks easily. Okay. But yeah, some of the tier rewards, you know, every time you hit a tier on the battle pass, you know, one through a hundred, it gives you something. Uh, a cosmetic occasionally, an emote, little stickers. This battle pass added graffiti. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. So now you can straight up like Wiley e. Coyote somebody and spray paint like the tunnel with the road going on on a wall. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, for that. And like I said, some of those tiers you'll earn some V bucks, and you know it's, it's basically you know ten dollars worth of V bucks. So it's like a like nine hundred and fifty out of and ten dollars buys you a thousand V bucks. You get ten dollars worth. If you complete the battle pass, you will you will earn through that battle pass enough V bucks for the next battle pass. Oh, okay. So you if you complete it, okay. If you play through. Like enough of the tiers to get the V bucks back, you can really, you know, live off of the first ten dollar investment. Okay, and, yeah, that's, or, that's a that's a good system to me. Yeah, and that's where a lot of people were getting mad. Is you know, with for, the battle pass is available to everybody. There's a free version everybody has, and a paid version. The paid version gives you a bunch of bonuses. Of course it does. But you can still you can still earn a couple things that are pretty cool with the free one. Yeah, I've earned a few things. Now, with the event pass on PUBG, a lot of people were mad at was like it gives you like six things versus like the thirty something other things that are paid, and there's no way to earn your money back basically. Because that's the thing, yo, know, with the Fortnite battle pass and like that whatever the event pass for Dota is, is like if you play those and grind them out, you can earn your next one without having to spend any more money again. See, here's the smart thing, though, that Epic Smart, like the the amount of people who are going to earn their money back by the battle pass and not buy something cosmetic has got to be low. Like you're going to be like, oh, I saved 10 bucks. I'm going to go buy a skin. Right. That's fucking brilliant. Because, yeah, like, the lowest cost item that's ever in the store are green emotes. They're 200 V-Bucks. So if you buy four emotes through the course of the month, like, you're fucked. (laughs) (laughs) You know, a blue skin, a blue rarity skin is 800 V-Bucks. It's, it's, it's donezo there. You're, you're, you're investing another $10 afterwards. Yeah. I mean, I've personally probably spent upwards of a hundred bucks just on V bucks. Damn! But I've put. Hold on, let me uh, hit old Fortnite Tracker dot com here. Let me see my total hours played. Yeah, I could definitely I'm, see myself, you know, earning the money back, buying the battle pass for nothing, and being like, oh, "I saved ten bucks. I'm gonna go buy a skin." You know, yeah, I, I and it's like it's just giving money to a developer for a free game that I love. And I'll, I'll usually spend a few bucks on a free to play game. Yeah, I've I've played over thirty seven hundred matches. Damn. 
Jesus. I got a 9% win percentage and just under a 3 KD. Okay. Yeah, I've I've won 330 something of the 3700 matches I've played. But yeah, so I've been playing since the thing hit alpha. Okay. Like then a week later it went free to play for everybody else because okay. I was one of the people that bought in as soon as like the save the world mode came out. Oh, so you've played save the world. Yeah, it's Do you think hideous. that's going to go free? Oh, really? Well, no, it it's it's all right, but I think we mentioned it last time like there's so much work that needs to go into that to make okay. it like a final product, but no, the intention is once it leaves early access, save the world will also be free to play. I hope so cuz like it would be nice to have a, a break from battle royale and play something else. Also, if you did have like one of the founders packs and you play the weekly challenges in Save the World, you can also earn some V-Bucks and save the world. Wow. Hmm. So yeah, if you played, you know, your dailies and your weekly challenges on Fortnite and then played a few of the weeklies here and there when you wanted to relax on Save the World, you can grind out a fair amount of cosmetics just off of an initial forty dollar purchase and a ten dollar V book or th- yeah. ten dollar battle pass, and say the world has gone on sale a few times. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I'll just wait for, for save the world to go free. I'm not yeah. dying to play that. Like yeah. you had uh, <laughs> mentioned, you know, killing floor. Imagine if you instead of being able to just weld some doors shut, you've got to mine some resources. Yeah. And build a base and throw up traps and then fight off waves of enemies. That's that's all Save the World is. Yeah, it, it looks a lot like uh, Sanctum, which was a fun game. Uh, but we're, like we were talking about before the podcast, like Tower Defense is not definitely not my favorite thing. I don't think you guys like them either. No. But Save the World does look pretty neat. Also, I just like the style of Fortnite. Yeah, the art style was like one of those things that really drew me in originally. Is I love so much of the weird like cheeky humor like yeah. in the save the world like the husks are you know the zombie characters yeah so like the the, the lore of fortnite is like really fucking dark <laughs> <laughs> for how goofy it is yeah. you know it's like it's like we just woke up one day the storm showed up and like 98 percent of humans are dead and this is our life <laughs> <laughs> these are their stories. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, there's a few survivors with these robots. There's like this cool robot character that's kind of like your main system voice or whatever you hear and you talk to her. She gives you quests. But yeah, you're just trying to rebuild and find survivors. That's the whole thing about Save the World. Yeah. But like the husks, like the default enemies, you see they're just skeletons. And you see the guy looks like he's wearing a hoodie. No, the hood is his actual face skin hanging off his back. <laughs> yeah, like like they're super dark and weird. All right then. Uh but the um playground mode, which is just gonna be you can drop in with a squad of four and just run around the map and learn it and find weapon drops and stuff. That's amazing. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Cause that was the thing is, you know, I I got really good at the game pretty fast. So I had a lot of friends, you know, on the PlayStation I had talked into trying it out. And I've got a pretty regular squad I play with here and there. But, you know, a lot of my friends, they were terrible at the thought of, you know, doing the building. So yeah. it used to be you would just drop in in a, like an abandoned area and I'd grab a bunch of resources, you'd grab a bunch of resources. And I'd like guide you through while we're, you know, trying not to die to the storm how to build you're pretty much guaranteed to lose those games, but you had, you know, probably like five to eight minutes solid uninterrupted most of the time to really run somebody through. Yeah. I would like to be able to collect resources and just build so I can learn how that really works. Cause yeah, you don't have time to, cause you're running from the storm and you're worrying about people killing you. And yeah, you, know, you don't I have would, time to learn. Yeah, you really don't. I would like to play around with some of the weapons and you can kill your squad mates in this playground mode. That was oh, a wow, thing. Nice. Yeah, was they took out the team killing a while back 
because people are griefing really hard. Yeah. And that was super helpful when I do these, you know, these build training tutorials for some of my friends is because if they fucked up, I could punish them and then pick them back up and go again. Okay. <laughs> you Sounds know, like a weird fetish thing. But... Well, no, it's like you got to train them, you know, live fire exercises. Well, Charles is a fucking psychopath. So. <laughs> <laughs> or or well, he was in the military. <laughs> Well, good good thing with the playground mode is you uh you'll find llamas frequently. There's more llamas in the map. There's like pinatas that pop out. And give you I was just saying, what the hell are llamas? So llamas in Save the World are loot boxes, basically. What? Llamas in Battle Royale are these three of them on the map. They're random spawns. You can find them like out in the middle of the lake, on top of a tree. You smack them, they give you a shitload of ammo and a bunch of materials. They nerfed the materials, so now they kind of suck, but they're great for ammo. Oh, I've never really ran out of ammo. But yeah, with playground mode, you not only can find more of those, you also get more materials for the things you mine. So it really yeah. encourages you to learn how to build. I'm also, now I'm curious, like how, or rather, what are people going to build? Because that's the thing that's fun to me. Like, whenever they open up these games and to like, do whatever you want, somebody's going to build something fucking rad. Someone's going to build a penis. That too. Well, I'm people telling you that right now. People already have done some crazy stuff in the Battle Royale as it is oh, right I'm now. Sure. Like, there's some great, like, clips of... There's a giant, like, metallic llama <laughs> that's up by a place called Junk Junction. Okay. There's... They they added the llama, they added this giant crab, and they had this giant fox. It was like one of the weak challenges for one of the battle passes, like season two, I want to say. So a guy went out there, you know, and he said, hey, let me get some materials. And so one guy built a complete replica llama out of wood, like right in front of the other llama, and they were like kissing. Oh my so, God. so they give it a week, and here comes another guy going out there. He built a llama having sex with the other llama. Oh, God. <laughs> People have done, like, Hollywood signs, you know, like, like Tilted Tower somebody built. Or, you know, I saw somebody, like, he built, like, a sky base, which is, like, you just build super high up in the air, and you build ramps out, so you're just, like, super vulnerable. But the guy just spelt out, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> in the air. Right. So so if you look it up, it was just F U C K U. That's awesome. <laughs> so yeah. And uh in Save the World, you have like your own like storm base or what they're called. Yeah. So so a lot of guys have also built if you can check out like the regular Save the World like Fortnite Reddit no one ever goes to anymore. <laughs> There's sad. all sorts of cool old like castles and all this weird stuff that people have built there. Like, I think I saw somebody did a pretty good job rebuilding like castle gray skull from he man. Huh. But yeah, when they open up the playground mode and you don't have to worry about the storm and people being dicks. Yeah. Like you said, there's going to be some silly stuff people are building. Yeah. Oh yeah. That'll be fun. But, uh, I think, you know, we went about 40 minutes on Fortnite. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what have you guys been playing this week, Bob? Uh, well, they had a new patch come out for Star Citizen, where they finally added mining into the game to an extent. Uh, there's going to be, in when the game eventually releases, you know, when we're tired. Um, yeah. <laughs> when nobody wants it anymore. Right. The, there's gonna, they're going to have planet side mining, which is what we're looking at now. I just want to say uh, it's not paused. It's it's going. Yeah, no, I know. Um, this is this is real time speed. Yes, this is, is real time speed. You have planet yes. side mining, which is this, and then they actually are going to have uh, like asteroid mining, where you're mining asteroid belts and stuff. But this is neat. It's kind of like a little mini game. You have your bar in the bottom left. Okay. You have to you have to get you know your energy level. In that little green section, what are you laughing at? I I, I just here. I just had to look at the actual thing. I was like, I thought it was like a GIF that was looping, and then it finally did something. I was like, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
I actually like if you like if you can tell with the recording, I actually had to put my cursor over the YouTube videos. I was like, oh shit, I didn't unpause it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. Go ahead. Yeah, it's like a little mini game, but uh, it's pretty neat. I enjoy it. But yeah, doesn't it already have like asteroids out in the air? Like when you're like you're in space, don't you have the ability to like shoot through some asteroids and stuff like that? Not that I'm aware of. I think it was in a developer build, and then I don't think it went live. Maybe because I know I, I haven't noticed it yet. I remember seeing it like on a. I think it was like a tech demo I saw like a year or so ago, because they were like showing people like the better versions of what Star <laughs> Citizen could, Star Citizen could do compared to like No Man's Sky. Oh yeah, but I'm No Man's sure Sky, you could laser beam out, you know, asteroids and pick up materials. <laughs> like they had mining from day one, guys, and you're out there throwing shade. <laughs> I need to play No Man's Sky. I it's I... like cool back now. Now, uh oh, what was that? You kind of, you kind of, uh oh, roboed. <laughs> Hello, are we gonna there? Hear? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what happened. My uh, internet browser went weird. We close that out. Anyway, but yeah, like my roommate plays a lot of that No Man's Sky when he's just like chilling, and it's just like laid back. Occasionally, he has to deal with a whole bunch of like space guardians that are trying to shoot him. Yeah, because he shot an animal. <laughs> the intergalactic space force trying to kill one man because he accidentally fired his mining laser into a little snake thing. <laughs> it, it looks like a game I would enjoy a lot because I really like the the building and like the mining and like the chill out games like Minecraft and Space Engineers, which we need to play. We do need to play, and that's why I like. I wish my computer. I don't know what it is about Star Citizen; it just doesn't like it. Hopefully, with this new patch, I'll be able to actually run it. I should come out at the end of the month. Okay. So we'll have to try when it when it actually hits the live server. Um, I played Pillar, and it was like super smooth. Hopefully, <laughs> it'll be that smooth on the live server. Hopefully, hopefully this game they just and I know like they're building it from the ground up with their own engine and stuff. But hopefully this game comes out one day. I'm hoping. I think after playing on this this most recent patch, it feels more like a game than a sandbox. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. There's still not, you know, a ton to do because there's a lot, a lot of like professions and stuff that just aren't in the game yet. Like, you know, salvaging and fucking whatever. That's what I'm exciting, excited about is like being the guy in the, it's not guild. What are they called? And Star Citizen corporations or organization organizations being like, I need X material. Be like, oh, you got to go talk to Bob. He's our whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That, that sounds cool. Oh, I can't wait. So, yeah. Mining. Mining's definitely something I'll, I'll do yeah, for I'm, sure. I'm in now. You got me a copy. I'm in. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to play it. I, I roped you in. Yeah, except then the rope broke. <laughs> and then and then the rope broke. It just kind of deteriorated and pixelated and ran away. <laughs> I was like, well, shit. Well, if you get a new rope, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like waiting. I said, we'll, we'll check this new patch out once it goes live, and maybe this will work for you. Hopefully. If, if so. not, then you're, you're kind of stuck waiting until, I think, September. <laughs> okay. I think. What happens in September? Another patch. Okay. Or I'm stuck waiting until I can buy a, a decent PC. <laughs> well, there's always that. Or get you one of those uh, external docks to put a graphics card in. No, I'm just going to buy a good PC. <laughs> yeah, because those docks are like 200 something dollars without a high regular card. fucking desktop yeah. PC instead of a laptop. I had that suggested to me. Well, I need the laptop for the podcast and whatnot. But, uh... Yeah, I, I had that suggested to me. I was just like, uh, no. <laughs> nah. <laughs> that, that thing has got to put off a bunch of heat. I don't have room on my desk. I No. You could have room on your desk. Hey, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> my my little figures do not take up that much space. 
she, Except I had for the to, space they do take up. I had to rearrange my desk because it's hot in Florida, and I had to make it so I could put my fan on my desk and have it pointed at oh, me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so things were removed from the desk. <laughs> not any of the figures. Of course not. No. They of stay. course not. They stay. Obviously. Uh, so, uh, well, you also played some WoW? I did. Um, I quit WoW for... I don't know, however long, a couple months. Nothing drastic. So when did this video come out? September 2017. Yeah. I played a little bit after that, but it's yeah. It's I quit for a little while. Um and I decided that I was gonna come back but just completely start over. And I took your I took your advice and I didn't delete anything. Okay, good. But uh I did just do a, a complete fresh start, new server, all that. Yeah, he was going to delete his character that had how many days on it? 13, almost 14. Yeah, that's just a and bad that's, idea. And that's just, that's just one guy. That's not all of them. <laughs> I, I've never understood the point in deleting characters. Like, I get restarting it, we can just go to a different server. Yes, yeah, so that's what I did. I went to a different server. Um, like the people, uh, I can't remember who it was. I know someone that made. What is it called when you make a new account? Is it Smurfing? Yeah, Smurf accounts, like they did with Overwatch there for a while. Exactly. That's what I was gonna say. Somebody made a Smurf Overwatch account, which isn't just making an account. It's making a new battle and buying the game again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like why? What? Why? You buy why? some of them cheap. Like Chinese codes that are like eight dollars. <laughs> there, there's a lot of like black market Overwatch keys. I'm sure. I don't doubt it. I guess I'm just not the type. Like I don't get it. As you'll find out in what I talk about, what I played. I like playing a bunch of things. I like experiencing all kinds of games, not just fourteen days in a MMO. <laughs> well, we all have our things. It's true. Absolutely. Uh, but what what what's going on in WoW that got you to play it again? Just looking forward to the next expansion. I think we had that big. I don't want to call it an argument because it wasn't really an argument, but me bitching to you <laughs> about <laughs> en- about end game content. And I think me yeah. and you troll talked about this as well. Did we talk just... about it on the podcast? I I don't know. Someone should keep track of what we talk about on the but, podcast. Uh, yeah. Spoiler spoiler alert, I hate endgame content in most games because I think it's a fucking ripoff. I I cannot wait until you get to the end of the division and experience the endgame content there. Because it's so I, say, I don't I don't I don't think it's every game, but I think a lot of games I think are just oh, like, we did talk about this on the podcast. Because I think it's Destiny. I think Destiny ruined it for you. Uh, well, I you know, I I wouldn't disagree with you. <laughs> Because you play WoW, you you are that is an end game content yeah, game, and and you know what, and I love it. I love WoW. Then and it I has to the be end Destiny because that's the only thing you've played in between. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. And honestly, and like I told you, I think last night, the more we talk about Destiny, the less I want to buy it and play Dude, it. That oh my god, that article troll. Did you look at the the, the subreddit thing I posted about Destiny for the hundred and fifty Nightfalls? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah, you see, imagine that? that? 150 nightfalls for a good weapon. No, absolutely. That's the not. thing. My uh, my buddies were super big into Destiny, and I dipped out like immediately. Yeah, why is <laughs> that? Because one or it's, two. It's Destiny one okay. and Destiny two. Uh, but no, Destiny one especially is the one they were all super big into. They've all just kind of said, you know, get fucked Bungie on Destiny 2 at this point. Yeah. But, like, I would see, like, I never touched a raid once. Just because I knew, it was like, oh, hey, do you have four hours to dedicate <laughs> to maybe getting something decent? <laughs> you okay, know? Yeah, so recently I had some buddies that were like, hey, let's do a raid. I was like, well, it's only the four of us. And, like, how many is it for the raid? It's six? Six, it's six. yeah. They are like, oh, there's there's four of us. And I was like, well, I didn't get far in the raid. And you guys don't have the best gear, and you also don't know how to do the. 
do you know what the rate is? <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, do you know super time sensitive jump puzzles? Yeah, you would have been there all time night. Time sensitive to do that. everything, dude. How long yeah. did we try doing that raid, Bob? At least three Too hours. Too long. Too long. And what did Wait, we get was... from it? We got like four fucking tokens that you couldn't do anything with. Yeah. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> so and didn't by they the have way, like legendary but... raids at one point that yeah. made them even harder? Prestige raids. Uh, yeah, but that's, yeah. That, that, that's for those people, and that's great that they yeah. add that stuff. But they gotta stop adding shit for the the freaking minority. It's so stupid. But anyway, so this this weapon that the guy ran 150 nightfalls for is the DFA. I don't even know what the hell DFA stands for. I don't know. I'll see it on here. So it has adaptive frame. It's well rounded. Uh, you have the choice between three of the barrels: increasing range, increasing re- recoil reduction, all that stuff. Right. You can have the accurized, accurized rounds, which just increases range, or the drop mag, which increases the speed on reload. But then the big two perks on it are opening shot, so it's improved accuracy on range when the opening shot, kind of like Fortnite. And then rampage, so when you get a kill, it increases the damage stacks up to three times. And he That's ran a nice ball. He put not 150 times good? No. Yeah. An exotic should be the the big reward. And that's what I've never understood about destiny. And I've had so many arguments on Reddit about this is all these weapons that we're supposed to grind like hell for are legendaries that just have different perks from different stuff. Yeah. And exotics are just like a, a roll of the dice. Yeah. And like, like why are of, we not? Yeah. Why <sighs> are we not questing for the exotics? Cause that's what it should be. And it is now that the, the newest, DLC has some exotics you have to do the long quest for, like uh, the the sleeper simulant, and that's how it should be. I'm okay with that. And you know, and this and this is probably just my take on it, but there's too many. There's too many exotics. Really? Yes. And here's here's why I say this. And again, this is also coming from from a WoW standpoint. Okay. Um, back in the day. You had well. You, you still have legendaries in WoW, but you would get legendary, you know, a legendary weapon or a legendary piece of gear, and you worked for months to get this one weapon or one piece of gear. Okay. And there was only a couple people on a server that might have had it because it took a lot of work. That's pretty. Cool. And it was and it was worth your fucking time. Okay. I was gonna say, wasn't it like? Super at like the initial launch that there were specific legendaries you can only get on certain servers. Mm. That would have been a long ass time ago. <laughs> that I don't. Know. Yeah, like I I haven't played WoW since two thousand five. But I... to that point, Bob is the sleeper simulant, and now I don't know what Anna Bray's rifle is, the exotic version of it. Those are weapons that's like, oh shit, you've been here for a while and you've been grinding. That's cool that you have that. That's cool, but do we need all the other garbage exotics there are in the mix? Garbage exotics. That, well, that's well, what I'm saying. Is and, and, and it's the same thing with WoW now. Is yeah. you've got 19 million legendaries to where is it really? Is it is it really legendary? Is it really exotic? If there's 19 million yeah. of them, and that's where I feel like a lot of the legendary weapons of Destiny could get dropped down to like rare or maybe another tier. And then some of the exotics, like, I don't know, Darcy and Crimson could be legendaries. And then stuff like Sleeper Simulant and Sunshot and uh, uh, the, the Anti-Cabal rifle. Um, oh, yeah. I can't think of the name, but I know what you're talking about. Those could be exotics because those are unique and those are really good in some situations. Right. And Like the armor is. And I agree, weapons like that should be exotic. But, but also the, the anti cabal rifle, send us on a quest to kill Cal Ka- not Callus, uh or even Callus, but um Gaul on like the prestige hard mode, something along those lines, and like, okay, now you've murdered the leader of the cabal. Here's this rifle to wipe the rest of them out. That's badass. Yeah, yeah. and it's just not like that. Nope. It's extremely casual. And uh, let's stop talking about Destiny. 
<laughs> I mean, that's I don't I don't have a problem with things being casual because I'm very much a casual gamer at this point. Yeah, but I like but, being rewarded for my dedication. Well, yeah, I mean, leave give the hardcore players something to play hardcore yeah. for, and it, if it's not accessible to everybody, then you know what? It's not accessible to everybody. Sorry, <laughs> it's just not. Yeah. Not everything needs to be accessible to everybody. I'm not saying lock content as far as being able to actually play something. Well, they're doing that too. Well, I, yeah, that's <laughs> Destiny. I'm talking games in general. But, I mean, you don't need... Not everyone needs a fucking legendary weapon or an exotic weapon. Sure. In my eyes. Hell, look at me. I As soon as I got unlocked PvP in Destiny, I went into PvP and owned people with white weapons. Exactly. Clearly, they're not necessary. Yeah. It should be it should be a sign of the work you put into the game, not, right. oh, look at my fucking RNG. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing for me, like, with the original Destiny was PvP. You know, even though, like, level bonuses, none of that mattered unless you're playing Iron Banner. Not like that P- anymore, by the way. P- PvP was the only thing I enjoy. You know, that's, that's my it. primary thing. Uh, but I, I realized I was playing some games, and I was like, oh, these guys grinded for like two weeks and got a thorn, and now they have a gun that shoots poison. So even yeah. if I win the fight, I get around the corner to safety and I die because I got yeah. poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, some of the exotics in Destiny 1, at least in PvP, like even though they didn't do more damage, they had drastic, you know... Perks. Ability, the drastic perks, perks yeah. that changed the things. And I think... Like your your complaint there about like there being too many exotics is more a thing of there's not enough exotics that matter. Yes. Well, yes, yeah, I can totally agree it. with that. You know, because like... that was. Go ahead. I was gonna say that was the thing that, regardless of you know the, a lot of the things I've known people tell me they didn't like about like Diablo three. One oh, thing yeah. I will say I loved about Diablo three was. Like the crazy modifiers you'd get on gold shit. Yes. Yeah. So much oh fun. yeah. Like like the pants I I shit myself in. Was that in a video? I think it was. There were just the pants. pants. There were just pants that stunk and they killed everything around me. Like I shit myself. <laughs> I, don't I remember. Remember that. <laughs> I remember I had some when I played as a monk where his like spin kick move would throw tornadoes at people. <laughs> Oh, that sounds awesome. Exotics, it was great. Exotics and Diablo are stupid, and that's why they're great. Yeah, and, you know, that's something, like, there was, there was an idea that I had that, you know, I, I would see all these people, especially when I used to look at the Destiny subreddit, and, oh, you know, sorry. people are like, why, what, you know, why, why isn't, you know, competitive Destiny a thing people watch? I was like, because competitive Destiny requires people grind in a boring single player mode no one wants to watch and play to be yeah. you know competitive to where i thought about you know the idea i had i suggested that no one seemed to pick up on but you know you post wrong time of day on reddit no one notices yeah. anything but have you ever heard of card open packs or card open tournaments and like, like magic gathering or pokemon yeah, yeah absolutely yep yep, yep. Uh, so my idea was if they added a mode for crucible which was you got what is it? You know, eight random Ingrams. Okay. And you know, it gave you one for every potential item you could have. You know, your three guns, your five pieces of armor, and just bam, it yeah, starts open the pack. I'm in. Yeah, like, do you know how fucking fun that would be? Because you would have no idea what was going to happen. It would encourage people to actually go into the Crucible and do something, and not have to worry about you know being relevant like the the insanity of like the what is it the universal remote and destiny one the shotgun that was a primary weapon mm, yes universal remote yes yeah it used you know your primary ammo i remember i, I ran, didn't know that yeah i ran 38 kills and two deaths with that thing in a round of crucible because you just i was a hunter you just run, slide in, shotgun them to the chest yeah. once, and if you miss a few shots, you pick up their regular AR ammo they drop, and there you go. It reloads <laughs> off of white ammo boxes. And it yeah. was just like, 
guaranteed death like the stupid thorn was. They hit me once in the chest and I'm going to die because of the poison damage. Like, you assholes. <laughs> and I think that's why I like putting handicaps on myself in PvP, like using only white weapons and not using exotics. and Because it does make it more interesting for me. Well, it makes you feel like you're doing something. Yeah. And, like, even, uh, I don't know if it's still going on, but the YouTube channel, My Name is Bife, that does all the amazing lore for Destiny. I love his videos, and I love the lore for Destiny. But, I was uh, going to say, was you go to a web browser and open up Bungie.net? <laughs> no, you don't do that. You, go, <laughs> you could, but honestly, you should go to My Name is Bife on YouTube, because he does an incredible job. But they were doing, like, a charity thing where you paid 20 bucks in... I think this is how it was. You paid 20 bucks in and you got entered into their tournament. It was like a charity tournament. And I thought about it, man. Like, I'm pretty good at Destiny PvP. And then I was like, but maybe not because I don't really have 20 bucks to spare. And also, I think I'm good at PvP and I'll just find <laughs> out that I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, maybe not. But. You won't catch me in no Destiny PvP tournament. Fuck Destiny. Yep. <laughs> I'm so, oh, dude, I was so in on Destiny. I know. Fuck Destiny. What else have you yeah. been playing, Bob? Anything else about WoW? Um, I am going to start a guild, a future villains guild. It's okay. not started yet. It's not started yet, but I am going to start one. Get on it. I've got, I've got one person interested already, so... We'll get there. Because <laughs> you, you were streaming over at twitch.tv slash... Blackbeard Bob. Okay. I didn't know if you'd get the URL or not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably stream again tonight. Okay. Late at, late night into tomorrow morning, probably. Okay. So, if anybody wants to come check that out, that's where I'll be. Prime WoW hours. <laughs> yeah. It is for him, in the man. He does pretty well in his late night WoW streams. I do. Yeah, last night was fucking good. That's probably the best stream I've had in a long time. That's awesome. Hopefully I can get some with uh, with some of my streams that have been going on. Or you, or you could just play WoW with me. Dude, I honestly I would. I just don't want to spend 15 bucks a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, didn't they... Uh, yes, they did. Have like a temporary like free-to-play for a bunch of accounts? They yeah. have a free to play weekend, and then they have now where you can uh, pay for your subscription with gold. I don't have any gold. Well, yeah, you'd have to fucking grind it out, but or is is black market gold selling still a thing on WoW? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know how reliable it is to do so anymore, but I would. I, I'm not a I'm not a person to do that. I know somebody that's bought the credits in Star Wars. Oh really? Just, yeah, it's just insane to me. I don't ever understand that. No, and especially now where WoW is like, look, if you don't have money to pay for your subscription, just grind the gold out. And we'll give it to you for free. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean it. It it depends. Would it take a long time? Yeah. Is it the worst thing in the world? No. Making gold is not the biggest deal. It's just a neat option. Yeah. Really, the way like, when I dude, saw it, I thought of it as like, hey, guys who have been around for a long time, you have a lot of gold. It's on us. Just give right. us a little bit of this fake thing that doesn't actually exist and we'll let you play for another month. I thought that <laughs> right. was cool. Yeah. Like, it's not something I do. They definitely don't have to do that. Oh, no. That's I like it when developers do stuff like that that they definitely do not have to do. Yeah, people people can shit on Blizzard all they want, but uh, they they know how to run some fucking video games. I was gonna say there's a reason why they've only made like eight games. Yeah, and everyone loves all of them. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. They need to get their fingers in Destiny. Yeah, yeah. I put a I nope. put a. About a hundred, two hundred hours in Overwatch in the day, so Overwatch is good. Yeah. Do you have it on PC? Nope. Nope. Damn. <laughs> We're gonna make a PC gamer out of you. <laughs> yeah, that that's the thing, is like for probably the past twelve years, 
The PDC is something I would just turn on, click on a few websites when I'm alone. Use Excel. Close it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, do, do some of those spreadsheets and then I have to towel myself off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but these spreadsheets are sticky. They're digital. How'd you do that, you creep? I, don't I think know. we took a wrong turn. <laughs> yeah. It, I, it started as a, a kind of funny joke, and I'm not sure what happened at the end there. <laughs> oh, see, I didn't know that. My 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 actual personal reasons for using the PC slipped in there. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we need to get you back on PC. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's better. Well, it's, uh, I don't know. Not if that's the kind of shit we're going to get from him. <laughs> so I, oh, actually, I know what we'll talk about next. Because me and Troll can talk about this. Uh-oh. Slap City. Yeah, I uh, I saw a random donkey video. I was like, God damn it, that looks fun. It looks it like a big pile of stupid fun. And then I saw it was $7. Mm-hmm. And then like, a week later, it was on sale in the summer sale for like five dollars. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, yeah, it's less than that. It's like four eighty nine. Yeah. Have you played It'll Do? Yeah, It'll Do is insane. I love that game. I'm I'm gonna play more of that. Uh, but yeah, I was playing It'll Do. I was like, oh hey, it's that character I was playing in Slap City. And then uh, I, I get to the end of like the the first dungeon or whatever, and it's that little swashbuckler guy. <laughs> I can't remember his name. But anyways, yeah, I was like, oh, there's another guy. Uh, I just noticed It'll Do has the uh, the flaming sword. But yeah, it's it's basically, it's what's the name of the company? What, the uh, company that makes... Slap City and It'll Slap Do. Slap City? And, yeah. Uh, I don't know. They're, they're I think they're like Swedish, I want to say. They make some pretty goofy games. Yeah, and they've also got some like tie-ins with some other games on Steam, because like uh, Business Casual Man, Ludosity. Yeah, they have a uh, a skin on on there for him as a castle guy from Besiege. Okay, yeah, some of these characters I don't know where the hell they come from. I haven't seen a character here that I recognize yet. Uh, yeah, hopefully they add... See, this is... Okay, this is the thing I'm excited about with Slap City. Right now, it's Card City Knights, It'll Do, and some other games that are the characters in the game. What I'm excited about is this is a game on Steam. This is an indie developer. Odds are, we're going to get some other indie Steam games on, like, on this character roster. And that's really exciting to me. Because this game... It's like super early, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's only been out in early access for like a month or two. Oh, wow. And it plays good. Like, I'm not going to say it's like a great fighter, but it's competent. It's fun. It's like, I definitely, have fun playing it. It's, it's definitely a Smash Brothers clone, for yes. sure. And that's okay yeah, which because... Is, yeah, not a bad thing. How many of them are there? Not many. Well... Yeah. Speaking of like other indie game characters, I want to say it's Rivals of Aether that yeah. has like Hyper Light Drifter, like the Swordsman guy from there. Like, okay, a, a bunch of these other Smash clones have also started doing stuff like this. I remember I didn't like Rivals for some reason. I have to play it again. Yeah, one it, it's one of those games that's drastically changed. Okay, I, I played it a little bit because I think they added it to the early access or preview program on xbox one a oh. while back okay i think that's where i played it i played something like it on there because i know i just didn't personally really like brawl hollow yeah me neither see i haven't liked any of the smash clones so far but right. yeah slap city is the only one i've like really like gotten into it's it's so stupid especially the giant like fish man bungeon like the the swole chicken fish. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell that thing is. He's like from outer space. And this newest update they just put out, it adds a lot of like onboarding stuff to the systems. And it also has character bios in the menus now for all the people. Oh, okay. Hmm. But the game, it looks 
fine. Like that level that's showing right now actually looks really cool. Uh, I'm excited to play more It'll Do just so I understand some of the references in this game. And I guess that's kind of a barrier of entry for, you know, like you don't know any of these characters. But that's that's where the hope for more other indie games uh-huh. coming in. There. Maybe it'll be something you connect with more. Because if they're smart, that's what they're going to do. They're already doing. Yeah, they they're have probably a, already working on it. Yeah, because they have like a, a plan showing like we're going to add this many characters at this point. Yeah, I think their final release, they plan to have 25 characters. Okay. Damn. Hey, now there's and there's only, what, few. seven or six yeah, right now? Not many. <laughs> but yeah. just at the point that it is right now, like I said, like I can see this being a lot of fun. Oh, but, yeah. Also, the thing like I posted as a comment like in that Donkey video, yeah. like in his description, was this game already responds better in online lobbies than Smash Brothers on Wii U does. I never really played Smash on Wii U. I think it's the only one I didn't really play. But, also but yeah, I like didn't play it online. That's the thing is mm-hmm. when the new Smash comes out, I, I'm pretty sure their online is going to be terrible. It might be. And I don't know. It's fine I, for Mario Kart. It, it's it's all right for Mario Kart. It just depends. Because it's all peer to peer, so if there's one asshole with a real bad internet connection, it kind of screws it up. Mm, I don't understand I don't why know, people still use peer to peer. I I play with uh, one of our guys that has terrible internet, and his is it's fine. We haven't had any problems that that I've noticed. So I don't know. Yeah. So I don't doubt it, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, the. The theme song on Stupid Slap City is so catchy. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. You played it without sound. Probably. No, no. That's only on the Switch I play things like that. Oh. But uh, I did play a bunch of things this week for my uh, my one si- Project 168 series. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to start? We'll start with something we were talking about earlier. Whoops, that's not muted. This <laughs> Pixel Junk Eden game. Because I've Same. known... No. What's that? Nothing, go ahead. I've known about the Pixel Junk games for a while, and I know people love them, and I've just never played them. Um, you know, the whole point of this series is for me to play things that I own and have never played. And Eden, I started it out, and I was just like, I don't understand any of this what is going on and the more i played the more i got fascinated with it it's beautiful the sound is amazing because i didn't play it on switch so i know that and (laughs) the music is great i this is another game i really want to play more of um i think when i'm done with this series i'm gonna have like a more condensed list of things that i'm gonna like finish out in a series at least that's hopefully what i'll do i'll have a baby by then so who knows who the hell knows what's gonna happen then but I love Pixel Junk, Eden, and I didn't know it was co-op. That's exciting. Yeah, that was the thing. You know, when this game first came out on the early like PlayStation Network days, like I was talking about, is yeah, like you can just catch on your buddy and fling each other around. That's funny. It's it's it was a lot of fun just sit there, you know, couch co-op and just goof around. Especially when I played it, we would be drinking, my friend and I, a lot. So then you could just blame each other for every <laughs> failure. Yeah. Because you accidentally, because he grabbed onto you, he thought he was safe, and then you accidentally let go, and now you're falling to your deaths. <laughs> well, when you like, when you really wrap your head around the mechanics, like it's showing right now, you get the little string thing, and you can swing using perpetual motion. That's fun. That is so much fun. Yeah, because when you can stuff. Because, yeah, when you can, you know, hit that, like, Spider-Man zip line yeah. on your buddy, and now you have a weird, like, double rope chain spinning around. It used You're just to be... a death machine. Yeah. <laughs> That's the funny thing is you are, like, killing things in this game. You're killing these little bacteria things. And uh, I don't know what the hell they're called. But, yeah, they're, they're 
just the enemies of the game, and they don't hurt you from what I can tell. You just run into them and they die. Yeah. And they, uh, basically, when you collect their essence, they power up these little points that you attach yourself to, and it grows like a new plant that you can gr- you can climb on and get further up in the level. It's a hmm. very simple game, but it is so much fun. Yeah, it's just real relaxing, real good it times. Is. Yeah, exactly. This might be a game I go back to just to chill out. Um, but I also played Pixel Junk Shooter, which was not a relaxing game, but was a <laughs> hell of a lot of fun. Have you played this yeah. one? Yeah, Shooter went into both because they also, like PlayStation Plus, they gave out the uh, Ultimate Collection. Oh, wow. Which has both of the games. On the PS4, because they ported them over from the PS3 version on the PS4. And yeah, it's one of those things where it looks fun, it looks chill, and all of a sudden you accidentally shoot the missile the wrong way, yeah. and now lava's falling on the poor scientist. <laughs> and you just see like a little skeleton float up, you're like, ah, god damn it. Oh, dude, I straight up <laughs> murdered the first set of scientists. Because I didn't know what was going on. I was like, what are these? And I shot them, and I was like, I don't, I guess I can't. What am I supposed to do with these guys? Then I realized, <laughs> yeah. oh, that weird ball thing that I was throwing out. And that's the weird thing about these pixel junk games. They don't explain anything to you. Yeah, but, they're 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 super Japanese in that regard. But they're also very intuitive because like you start doing a couple things and you're like, oh, can I can I do this then? Because like <laughs> I got uh near the lava and I started overheating and I was like, shit, I'm really hot. Where's that water at? When yeah. the water cooled me down. Like, it's simple. It's like, it's a silly thing to, like, gush over. But the fact that game never explained a damn thing to me and I got it was awesome. Yeah, and also, I, I don't know if it's in the first one, but no, it's in the second one. There's a spin move you can do. It's not the and first like, one so far. Yeah, so it, at least in the second one, you can just, like, spin real fast. And if you get away from the lava, you like you can like, you know, by spinning you can cool yourself down too. Okay. And like in the I, the the clip that's on screen right now, you see me just shooting the the bits like when the water and the lava combine, they just create a solid bit. And I'm just still shooting the bits just to make the lava and the water combine because it looks pretty and, and man, <laughs> also this game like looks you saw pretty. there in that little spot there. If you do like harden the lava, you can collect diamonds. Right. Yeah, I think maybe right here, there's some diamonds at the bottom. I realized I was like, "What the hell?" And uh, and some of these enemies, man, like they just start shooting lava at you, and you just panic. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah, yeah, I couldn't figure out like how do I get this water out of here? But (laughs) but look at the water effects. It is so cool. I love this game. I can play this. This looks all right. This is yeah, it, so it's good. co-op as well. Oh wow! And you see, like, that was the big issue. thing with with why the Pixel Junk games became such a big thing on the PlayStation was, I think even Pixel Junk Monsters, at least the new one, is co-op as well. Probably. Yeah, you just but yeah, they were scientists and kill little enemies. And yeah, the second player has a blue ship. Okay. It's just good times. Uh, later on in the video, maybe I can pull it up. You start to be able to collect these plants that actually absorb the water. Oh, yeah, there it is at the bottom of the screen. And I pick it up. And yeah, you absorb the water and you can take it over to the lava and kind of like they do with helicopters in real life. But there's just so many neat mechanics in the game. And then like healing is just like you, you get shot. It heats up your ship so you go Dunk yourself in the water. <laughs> it's all extremely simple. And I, I, I that's what I, I enjoy appreciate now. appreciate simple games. <laughs> I do too. Uh, yeah, because some of the end game stuff does get pretty, pretty deep. Like, okay. There, there, there are some, uh, some really tricky, like late game puzzle solving things, especially in the second one, I want to say. Cause I played through, you know, both of them when that, uh, Ultimate Collection came out, and they gave it away for free. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, those are, those are just fun times. But the fact that, I bet it does get deep, 
but by the time you're deep in it and it's made like quote unquote complicated, you're not going to know it because this game has been holding your hand the whole time and like, look, this is how this works. And actually, no, it hasn't. It's just been. It just have you see by that time you figured it out. Yeah, and all the mechanics it, are simple. It uh now you're talking about that like that slow uh, educational process to you figuring it out as you go. Yep. It reminds me of like the most special thing that was in uh, that prey game that just came out last year. I gotta year. play that man. That looks so cool. It, it's like the the ending gets weird. Uh, and they just added a DLC called Moon Crash, which is yeah. like. A roguelike. a roguelike. It's like you spawn out of the little chamber into the simulation and enemies, resources, everything are random and you're trying to stay alive as long as you can out on the moon. And I love my roguelites. <laughs> but uh, in the initial Prey game, like, like it, it's brilliant. Like when you get out of the first spot and you realize you're in the... Uh, spoilers. Yeah. You realize you're part of like a, a test program, essentially. Because things go wrong, and you realize the room you keep waking up in is being filmed, and oh, you that break was the in glass. the trailer. Yeah, they 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 spoil that. But anyway, yeah. like when you get into like the first lobby, to where you start to see the 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 world open up, because there's a big central hub, which is like the giant lobby of the space station. But as you're making your way through to get to the lobby for the first time, you see a bunch of glue. Because there's a glue gun. And uh, you can shoot people with it, and it'll freeze them, and they'll get stuck. So if it's like the little mimics, you can lock them in place and just smash them you know, with one hit with your wrench. Or what you see in that same intro scene is you, you're going to be frozen in the glue. You see the gun, you see the ammo, but you also see the glue on the wall making a ramp up to a higher ledge. Because you can shoot the glue on the wall and use it as stepping stones to run up to explore the world. Hmm. So, like, it teaches you exactly every time you find a new item or weapon, basically, what that thing can do just by, you know, the environment. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty amazing and, when games can pull that off. It's 20 bucks on Amazon. Yeah, this, this thing goes on sale a lot. Yeah, I think it. I think it did well. Yeah, it, it sold well. That's the reason why they, you know, went ahead and made that DLC, and they're also making a, a VR component called Typhon Hunter, which comes out later this year. It's is like that the VR six, part. The Typhon Hunter is yeah. It's six players. One person's you know a human. The other yeah. five people are mimics. I don't think and that's the VR it's, part of it though. Yeah, it's hide and seek in VR. Oh. Because okay. you can turn it so like in the game, like you can, you know, get the biotic material or whatever out of these aliens when you kill them and create like those neuromods, like the giant needle you stab in your eye, which Ooh. freaks you the fuck out every time you do it. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, no thanks. It is but anyway, VR compatible, by the way. I don't think it's like a VR dependent mode. Yeah, they the, well when the the Bethesda conference they were showing it off, like they had specifically talked about it. But yeah, see the mimics they turn into stuff. So like there were some cool ways to get around certain things if you had like the mimic power to turn into like a coffee cup. Sure. Because you could like jump up on a ledge like in this like office here. There's a locked window. You can aim through with like the little gravity grab thing or that coffee cup turn yourself into the coffee cup roll through the window and bypass that even having so cool. <laughs> even having to learn the lock but the cool thing about prey is the more of like the mimic abilities you use because there's like tech skill trees and then there's the mimic skill trees and it's your choice what you want to go down the line the more of the mimic powers you take there's this gigantic like hunter that shows up eventually and starts chasing you down. Oh shit. Because because the hive of the mimics is trying to get rid of the foreign thing. Oh, okay. So then all of a sudden you jump through a door in a lobby and you see a thing that's like eleven feet tall, just you know, and you're like, oh crap, I gotta fight this thing. Dude, this game looks great. 
it, it's so fun. But yeah, talking about, you know, with Pixel Junk, all those Pixel Junk games do a very good job of using the game itself to teach you what the game does. That's awesome. <clears throat> I like that in games. I think it's an underrated feature. Yeah, it's something that just should just be a thing. Yeah. I think it's a sign of good game design. Oh, sure. Because, yeah, it's just not, you know, a 15-minute part at the beginning that has on-screen tutorials for everything. Yeah, it's like, exactly. Right. Yeah. They're just like, uh, here's our game. <laughs> Figure it out. Yep. <laughs> and and really, like, if you make a game like that, you better be damn sure people are going to be able to figure it out. That is that is brave to do that in a way. <laughs> Because like when, when least, Eden, I was like, I don't know mechanics. what the hell I'm doing. I got to run into these things. Okay, what? Where are those? Where are these little things going? I'm gonna follow that and figure out what is that. I jump into it. <laughs> oh, it grow. Okay, it just made sense. It's also yeah. a good sign of of level design. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so I did want to talk about at least one other game. I think just one. No, I got two. Oh, I got two. One. One good thing. You know what? I'm going to talk about my shit thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> killing Floor? Oh, fuck. You're right. Okay, the Killing Floor real quick. Still not a good game. <laughs> like, <laughs> killing Floor 2 is just the same shit. I thought it was fun because I had a couple of cowboy revolvers, but that game is still boring. I don't understand yeah. the wave thing. I, like... If you're going to put a horde mode in your game and it'd be the only damn thing in your game, at least make it good. The enemies were exactly the same. I just found it not that great. I didn't yeah, really the, care for the first one. The only interesting thing in those games are when you get through the horribly boring part, like the crazy boss fights at the end of the rounds. But Are they crazy some, boss fights? You just run from it and shoot it in the head. Yeah, I mean, some of them do really cool things. Like, there's the one guy who was, like, turning invisible and, like, shooting rockets at you out of nowhere. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's still a giant pile of mediocre. It really is. <laughs> and it looks nice. I like the art style. I it just... I can't, I can't care. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so there's, there's another shit, and then I got one more shit to talk about. Where is it? Here we go. Uh, and I, I don't know if Charles, you were kind of trying to defend it, but totally accurate battlegrounds. No, it it it's 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 specifically known to be goofy. Like that's I get that. Gimmick. That's fine. Play well, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. And like, I I really, I don't want to say I like the art style, but like it's different. I think it's kind of funny. I really like that there were just walls instead of like a storm, like literal physical walls that <laughs> indicated the circle. But man, I got it. I got to actually find me trying to fight. And the <laughs> pop in. Holy shit, the pop in. Yeah. I I, I, it reminds me of I saw a meme about people talking about like how kind of like awful like the, the there's like a old school Gatling gun you can pick up apparently. Here it is. Like, Look at all these weapons. I'm like, oh shit, I found a field of weapons. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> so I'm going to shoot this. Oh my God, there's buildings now. <laughs> and I had That's no like ammo. early PUBG problems. <laughs> I had no ammo, even though I had picked up ammo. So now I just have this gun. I have no ammo for. Now I can't find anyone. Now I ran the wrong way. And I'm just running outside of these buildings yeah. now. Like, the pop-in was really bad. Um, this this looks so aggravating. <laughs> this, this is like trying to drive a car on PUBG on Xbox. Oh, no. You want to see <laughs> aggravating? You're about to see aggravating. Uh-oh. Because I'm going up in this building. I'm trying to find any kind of weapon. Like, okay, I'm outside the circle. I'm screwed. I guess I'm just going to jump down here. And, okay, I fell. Okay, I can't get up. Uh, I, I can't really. I really can't. I cannot get up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am literally stuck into the floor now. <laughs> like, 
someone please come murder me so I can stop playing this game. (laughs) (laughs) It's pretty much what I'm thinking right now. (laughs) Like, dude, PUBG, when I first started playing PUBG, it had problems, but I never had this. And yeah, everything, like the pop-in, that killed me, man. As soon as that happened, I was like, no, fuck this game. It wasn't like (laughs) pop-in where you're like, oh, there's some grass. Oh, that building popped in. I was inside the goddamn building and it popped in. (laughs) <laughs> that's not okay <laughs> shouldn't happen but I don't know I don't get it I think it's right now it's just uh, uh, what do they call it PewDiePie bait because all the YouTubers are playing it I kind PewDiePie of regret... bait yeah like goat simulator it's called I've PewDiePie. never heard that term yeah the this game is made by Landfall I had to look it up because I thought it was when I saw those Flying semi trucks. Okay. Uh, so there's a guy. Uh, like, if you ever check out like Reddit game physics, there's also one called like Game Dev. I want to say. I think the user's name is like it's spelled weird. It's like Willy Nilly. He's the guy who would like he was just throwing a bunch of all these weird like prototypes together in Unity. I want to say. Yes. But you know, one of the prototypes he made up ended up becoming Cluster Truck, which is a cool game. Which is a yeah, a very cool game. Uh, and yeah, so I think it's one of those projects where he'll, he'll put a lot of work into it, him and the guys that work with right, him. Don't I don't say know how a lot. Are... <laughs> well, they'll, they'll, they'll put, they'll, they'll eventually get it to where it's at a somewhat stable state. All right. Don't then... say somewhat stable. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Eventually. This is <laughs> not, eventually, not immediately, eventually, <laughs> but, and, and then he'll move on to his next project. Cause he, that's why these things aren't expensive. You know, Cluster Truck was like the one I think he did the most work on. Okay. And that was, it was like 15 bucks. I, you know, uh, I don't often refund games on Steam. I refunded this one. I, it's just. <laughs> refund, just, just uninstall. Keep just keep in mind, he still owns Destiny 2. <laughs> I can't well, refund does, that. I was going to say, does, does Battle.net give you a refund option? I don't know. I think they do. No, I doubt it. I don't think I can... <laughs> can we please stop bringing up Destiny? <laughs> but, uh... Alright, I want to talk about a good game now. <laughs> uh, have you played One Finger Death Punch? Because this game is so good. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It is literally, you right-click and left-click, that's the entire game. You left click to hit a guy on the left, and you right click to hit a guy on the right. <laughs> but you oh, have to God. do it with when they get within your reach. So you have to do it specifically in a specific order because you also move to the left or right when you strike. You can pick up weapons to extend your range a little bit. There are different types of enemies. So, like, there's one guy, you know, you click to the left to hit him, and he dodges over to the right side. So now you gotta click to the right and hit him. There are bosses. There are guys who need to be hit multiple times. I I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this actually does look pretty fun. It's the goofiest goddamn game I've ever played. And I just talked about Total Accurate Battlegrounds. Like, <laughs> I I this when I was doing this let's play, this is a good one to go watch because I am literally screaming at my screen like ah! <laughs> it's just. So much fun. It makes you feel like a badass. I got a staff right there. Oh, you can unlock skills. Uh, I just, It's just fun. It's so much fun. You pin a guy just to the wall. Random blood sprays. Pretty much. Yeah, this looks all right. It's so much fun. It kind of reminds me right. of the old, like, stick man flash games. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, freaking But yeah, you can see the numbers underneath them. That's how many times they need to be struck. Uh, I go further in the video. This is another one of those games where, like, I kept playing it afterwards because I was like, "All right, I'll play a little bit more." And it's like Violent <laughs> Guitar Hero. <laughs> yeah, I guess, Yeah, I guess it is a rhythm game. Yeah, it's kind of a rhythm game. Yeah. Oh come on! When you said the when you said the name, it kind of made me think it was going to be more. Like, do you ever play a game called Ragdoll Kung Fu? Yeah, and I tried playing that again recently. I might play it for this series. 
But like I remember I didn't like it back in the day because it was too weird. It was so weird because you know you had to like grab a hand or a leg and flick yeah. yourself to fly across ragdoll style and punch somebody in the neck. It 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 was like an early version of like Human Fall Flat, which was but a it, play, which wasn't <laughs> as it didn't have as many controls. But yeah, I just remember that game was just so dumb fun because it's. It, like, there's nobody who's actually really good at it. There's people that are okay, and then everybody <laughs> can occasionally get like a random lucky hit, and then it's game over. And you're like, ah, you jerk. <laughs> also, it's, this game is kind of great to watch. Like, I didn't really get to watch it much because <laughs> I was <laughs> trying to kill things. But the combat just looks good for it being yeah. stick figures. That's so weird that they were able to pull that off. This reminds me of the old, like, animator versus animation video. Yeah. Do you remember those? Yeah. This is what this reminds me of. They need to make this with uh, Final Countdown? No, Final Showdown. <laughs> Final <laughs> like Countdown? DLC. No, I mean, Final... I'm all about Final Countdown on this, but... No, is it Final Ultimate Showdown? That's what it is. This is the ultimate showdown. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Shit, really? <laughs> Troll, just, back just, me up. I uh, it, it vaguely sounds familiar. I'm not pulling it immediately. All right, well, this is a YouTube video that's gonna have to be linked. <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking it should have been more of, you know, uh, Scarface. I need a hero. <laughs> 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 I think that's I, I played some other stuff. Uh Lethal League? Yeah, I played Lethal League, which is a lot of fun. Oh, you know what? That's the only other thing I've really played, so fuck it. Except now Which I, one was which one was that? Was that the one with the ball? Yup. Oh god. And the you weird actually... like Yeah, I was I was present for that one. The so... weird uh planner's peanut guy. Yeah, so this game is a fighting game, but not at all in a traditional sense. So, like, for instance, right now, my guy, his color is red. When I hit the ball, it becomes red and starts going faster. Whenever anyone hits the ball, it takes on their color and goes faster. And the only way to eliminate the other enemies is to turn the ball to your color and hit them with it. It's like, right now, I need to hit Candyman, he hit me. And (laughs) they all have special abilities, like Candyman can basically put a portal on the wall and have the ball come from some other random direction. So they all have special abilities. And it's spoiler just, alert, spoiler alert, Candyman is like the best character. He really is. And holy but crap, it goes fast. <laughs> is is he But is he secretly a mythical black man with B powers? I think so. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, I mean the the lore is fuzzy, but it looks that way. Yeah, this game Man. was like super hot on like Twitch and YouTube a while back. I know a lot of YouTubers were playing it, and man, I know why. I want to get a bunch of people together to play this game. This game needs to be on Switch. You I would play this on Switch. Yeah, this, this is definitely like a Switch game. This would be a Switch game for me. Yeah. And like I, I said at the beginning of this video that I honestly I did not think I was gonna like it because I I am a fighting game guy and when you screw with the mechanics too much I typically don't like that. But yeah, man, this game is fun because it gets so intense and like, sometimes I can't figure out how to hit the ball. <laughs> but yeah. there's also there's <laughs> other mechanics like you could punt the ball, which is like you hit it and it loses all momentum. But the moment you hit it again, it actually gains more momentum than what it had before. Um, so there's just all kinds of stuff to do. There's Every character has specials. There's different levels. I think there's different modes as well. The music is fantastic. <laughs> and the game is bonkers. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is kind of giving me weird nostalgia feelings for playing volleyball and Tekken. You know what it reminded <laughs> me of was those weird... Sega games like uh, uh, the All skating one, um, Jet, Jet Set Radio Future. 
Oh my god. Just like the, the goofy Sega shit that came out back then. Yeah. Am I right? Yep. At, as as a man who owned Adrian for a long time. I still I do. played almost all those games. They like just... the we the weird bootleg Dreamcast. <laughs> uh like, you know, uh when I was living in Dallas, there's like this giant open air flea market called Traders Village. And you want to talk about a place to find random bootleg video games. Because <laughs> at least with the Dreamcast, it was just literally a guy with a CD burner. Wow. Just because that was that was the problem with the Dreamcast, is like it died so fast because you could literally just with any CD burner, copy your copy of the game and burn a CD of any other game you wanted. That's there was no hard. copy protection. They probably but, did uh, that thinking it was pro consumer. They did it just because they're dumb. You know? Well, they did it because, <laughs> because they didn't even think about it. Nobody really had like reliable CDRW drives in their personal computers. Ah, uh, okay. And then, like five months after the Dreamcast came out, like one of the more popular models became a lot cheaper, <laughs> and was, more and more people suddenly had CD burners. Was it made by <laughs> Sony? <laughs> That'd be some devious shit. Probably. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I remember one of the weirdest things my aunt found, she gave it to me, like, for a birthday or Christmas out of that swap meet, was an insane PS1 game called Rising Xan. Okay. I don't think I've ever heard of that. So, yeah, it's super weird deep cut. So, like, you're this... You're this white samurai that also is in a western, so he has like a sword and a gun. <laughs> and so like as you like fight all these people in this awful like three D open air brawler kind of thing, you hit your power up and your sword grows like to ridiculous length. So the longer your bar gets, the longer your sword is. So you're just like swinging through like the four enemies that can fit on the screen because it's it's a hideous thing. The only thing anybody should ever know about this game is the stupid theme song. <laughs> <laughs> like, there was a moment on a bunch of message boards I used to check out like a few years ago where just randomly like Rick Rolls, it was a link to the Rising Xan theme song. <laughs> yeah, this looks weird. Yeah, it's 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 super weird and dumb and bad. And I played all of it. <laughs> Are we going to have to have a weekly segment of you just bringing up random games that look weird as shit? <laughs> yep. I mean, I, if you want to see, like, oh, oh, God. I forgot how awful this game <laughs> looked. Like, last that, week dude, it was Galaxy, which looked Yeah, good. Galaxy. I also mentioned, like, one of my favorite games I've played in a while, as far as, like, weird, was uh, Lovely Planet. Oh, that's not Imagine- my list. Imagine uh like Katamari Damacy, but it's a first person shooter. What? And it it's like the art style and like the weird music. I'm playing that shit tomorrow. But, but you're just jumping around and it's like it's course based, like it's it's a puzzle game that requires you to be a really good shot. Okay. Because like there's things you have to shoot. There's a like these things will pop and it'll shoot this like orb in the air if the orb hits the ground what the fuck before you shoot it right now <laughs> jesus oh my god Bo- <laughs> uh, be- if you don't shoot the orb before it hits the ground you die and you go back to the to the checkpoint and it becomes this thing of where like what i would hear that fuck? pop sound like in my nightmares because when you get deep into that game lovely planet like it is insanely hard. <laughs> oh, this looks cool. Yeah, it's it's super chill until it fucking isn't. <laughs> well, that'll probably yeah, be the end of my video. <laughs> dude, you, you see how fast you have to respond to a lot of these situations, because certain enemies Ooh. have, uh, like, heat-seeking bullets, and then you'll hear the pop, and, like, the balloon flies. And you gotta, oh man, someone trying to like speed run this. Wow. Yeah, so I was just saying that must be. But also, like, I do really like Instagib stuff where you have to be super accurate. So yeah. I might really like this. Yeah, because you can shoot the projectiles out of the air. 
So, like, if you're a good shot, you can save your ass in a lot of situations you shouldn't be alive. But there's so many situations where you just have to push forward. Like, you can't stop. You just got to, like, go, go, go. And you're like, you come around a corner, and then you didn't realize that that pop you heard a second while you're shooting somebody was one of those balloons around a corner you haven't even gotten to yet. So you turn around, and it splashes. You hear the balloon splash, like, water balloon sound. And you're like, fuck. Because <laughs> sometimes you'll jump, like hit like uh, these bounce pads and fly up to like these next areas, and you hear pop, 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 and then three of them will fly up in the air, and there's an asshole shooting a heat-seeking bullet at you, and you're like, "Oh my god!" It's it's it li- it's literally like adorable masochism. Yeah, yeah this I, love, I couldn't do this. I love how cute the game is. Yet yeah, it's all about yeah. violence. That's kind of wild. Yeah, I, I go down some weird ass rounds oh, of video games. That's what I'm doing right now with this series, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm enjoying every second of it, except for the, they're totally accurate battlegrounds. <laughs> Thank God I, I was able to refund that one though. Yeah. Uh, so, what have you been playing, Troll? Well, I've been playing a bunch of Fortnite. I've been playing a bunch of Slap City. I. Uh, oh, good. We talked I, about those. All right. We, we'll we, we played. We played those. <laughs> The only other thing I've really played with any extent was I played a bunch of Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze on the Switch. How is that? Well, it's a Donkey Kong game. It's <laughs> it's really well made. The retro studios, you know, they like the music is awesome. The animations are awesome. Like the colors, the levels, they're insanely well built. But it is just you know a difficult left to right platformer. Also, I'm not. I'm just gonna say I'm not gonna put up footage of this because they like to take people's videos. Yeah, so. yeah. You, you don't. You don't have to go sign some paperwork just to you know get eight cents off a YouTube video <laughs> from yeah. Nintendo. Uh, eight <laughs> but yeah, cents, shit, that'd be a success for me. Yeah, but uh, but no, like I, I gave up on it just because I realized like, yeah, this is just gonna be more of this for like three more levels. Three more worlds of yeah, like eight right. levels apiece. That's why I had no desire to get it, especially for sixty. Like if that thing had been like twenty, I probably would have bought it. But uh, I've got that old fashioned game fly for some of the games I don't want to commit on. So yeah. that's how I just to get a game fly is still a thing. Yeah, they're still around. Wow. They also now do uh, <laughs> like old fashioned Netflix. For the same subscription, you can get some yeah. wood rays. <laughs> wow. I didn't know they were still a thing. Yeah, they're still around. I've been using them again like, on and off for the past you know, couple of years. But I started probably about five months back when I finished up, I think, Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> and I had kind of like a dead spot. I've since then filled up my backlog with a bunch of crap on sale. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I still need to get to the sexy Brutal. That, that game looks cool. I watched a little bit of that in a Let's Play. Uh, so I think this week I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna play Lovely Planet now. Uh, it's like I said, that music. Turn that music up, man. It's, oh, it's yeah. so good. I'm not playing it on Switch, so I will. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of Switch, I am gonna finish for the second time Battle Chef Brigade. Oh Jesus! Still playing that. It's still fucking great. Uh, and I'm going to finish uh, that Castlevania game. Curse of the Moon? Yes. So, uh, you, you got anything coming up on your channel, Bob? Um, more WoW. I'll probably stream some more WoW tonight at some point. Um, other than that, I don't have much planned. That's pretty much the only thing I'll probably be working. Should probably do some Destiny videos. No, you should probably <laughs> suck it. Um, yeah, definitely keep an eye out for the guild. Uh, we'll be on Trollbane, I think is the name of the server. So Trollbeard, if you ever want to play some more WoW, I'll try to figure out. Uh, yeah, I believe the server server's Troll Trollbane. I almost said Trollbeard. I I feel like you should just be able to get a Troll to play it just because it's WoW because he's <laughs> a troll. <laughs> <laughs> he should have been the first one to be like, "Oh yeah, I'll play. That's my natural environment." Right. Yeah. Like he pretty Toxicity. much is there. 
I'm hoping I'm hoping there's not so many toxic people. There won't be in the guild, I'll tell you that, because I won't fucking put up with it. Yeah. That's the nice thing about controlling the guild. Yeah, I won't put up with none of that shit. Well, I mean, I'm thinking about playing it. I don't know. I probably won't. What, playing what? Some WoW? Yeah. Don't get I need excited. something to replace won't. Destiny 2. I'm, I'm not getting excited. I don't, I don't need anything to replace Destiny I have the Division. It's a vastly superior replacement. <laughs> Made by a vastly better company. Yeah. Dude, I, I swear, if they're as smart as I think they are, if like they because they took their licks with the division one they oh yeah they absolutely. definitely fucked up a few places and have more than made yeah. up for it if they are as smart as i think they are division two is going to just blow everything out of the water they've already well, said that there's eight man raids and there's gonna be multiple raids when it comes out hopefully they don't screw up like uh bungie did and just backtrack to the you know year one of the division September is a major backtrack when the expansion comes mean? out. You know what? Destiny as a whole is its own episode. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's, why, why, will you just quit bringing it up? <laughs> he gets mad every time it's brought up. But he's the you, one two, you two bring it up. <laughs> and at this point, the, the only two things that happen is I get mad or I get really depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Troll, are you making any content? Uh, well, lately, if I am playing, I do just turn on the stream. Mostly, it's been Which a is what, bunch Twitch. of Fortnite TV slash Trollbeard underscore. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, I I played some of uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze on there, and then realized I had to change my OBS settings to get the Switch audio to pull through. Do you use so, Streamlabs uh, OBS, by the way? No. Look into it, it. Yeah, it's nice. I I used it for a little bit, but it was being weird. I think they've probably updated it since. They must have. I When we streamed before, it was such a pain in the ass to get anything to work. And when I was thinking about doing it again, it was just anxiety of, like, I have to figure this crap out again. Yeah. And I heard about Streamlabs OBS. I was like, I'll try it. And I installed it, and it was like, we'll do all the work for you. I was like, yeah, sure you will. And then it did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They they've since added like the the built in like auto configurator and to, the themes and to regular OBS. But uh, oh, okay, you still got to manually import like any of the overlay stuff to the. OBS Studio, whatever it is, it's not like a built-in like yeah. template tool like Streamlabs has. Just use Streamlabs OBS; it's so nice. It was that was it was nice. So that that's what we use now. But uh, do you guys got anything else to add? No, I think that's it for me. Okay, well, uh, thank you everyone that's been watching. We've had bunches of people jump in and jump out. Uh, hopefully, we get some concurrent viewers eventually. Um, and just so anyone that's watching this on YouTube knows, there is a few true heels podcast that just came out this week. Uh, we talked about, uh, whatever the hell the pay-per-view was that came out, uh, <laughs> money in the bank <laughs> that's out now. Uh, we're going to be doing that monthly instead of weekly because wrestling is just not what it used to be. <laughs> and, uh, I got all the Project 168 come out. Bob's going to be streaming later. Keep an eye out for Trollbeard streams. You can find all of our content on futurevillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. LARP Brothers got some cool shit coming out soon. Uh, I got to find out what they have coming out so I can get it all edited and put together. And uh, thank you for listening, guys. Check us out next week. It's going to be Monday, right, guys? We're doing this on what day is it today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Monday. Today's Monday. Are Maybe. We? we might be able to do it Maybe. Monday night. I work next Monday. Well, okay. We'll figure it out then. Off yeah. The <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>